Okie dokie. In this problem, they present us with the 52 card deck situation again, but the question's slightly different. They tell us that a royal card has been drawn from a 52 card deck. Then, without replacing the first card, without replacing the first card, a second card is drawn. What is the probability that that second card is a royal card as well? So, let's talk about what the odds would be, say, if we uh, pulled a royal card the first time. So, how many royal cards are there? There's a jack, queen, and a king. Therefore, there are three royal cards per suit, and there are four suits. So, three options times four suits tells us there were 12 total options or possibilities of drawing a royal card off the start out of the original 52 cards. And so technically that would be the probability of drawing that first card. But they don't want to know that. We don't really need to incorporate this, but this might help us kind of pinpoint what the next step is. So they say then, without replacing the first card, meaning we're keeping that one card, so there are now just 51 cards in the deck. What's the probability that that second card is a royal card? Well, if we pulled one of the 12 already, then there are just 11 left. And a mistake I made previously, a nice distinction to make, is you are already assuming that this first card has been drawn. They don't want to know what the probability of drawing the first card, then the second card is, they just want to know the probability of drawing that second card uh, if we have not replaced the first card. And so, just 11 over 51 is what they're looking for. So, let's try a couple more. In this one, they say a royal card, again, so 12 over 52 is drawn. And then after replacing the first card, a second card is drawn, what's the probability that that second card is a royal card as well. Well, if we replace the first card, that means there's still 52 cards. And if we replace the first card, then that means there's still a total of 12 royal cards to choose from. So 12 over 52. And if we reduce this, we can divide both of these numbers by 4. So we get 3 over 13. So that is option C. Again, we don't need to consider the first probability, just the second card's probability. All right, let's do a couple more. Suppose a spade is drawn from a standard deck. So spades make up one-fourth of the deck. So 13 over 52, 13 spades out of 52 total, or one-fourth is the probability of drawing one spade. Then without replacing the first card, a second card is drawn from the now 51 cards. What is the probability that the second card is a spade? So if originally there were 13 out of 52 spades, but we are or 52 cards, 13 spades out of 52 cards, and we don't put that one spade back, that means there are now 12 spades out of 51 total cards since we've kept that first card. So 12 over 51 is likely what they're looking for. Does that reduce at all? Let's see. Oh yeah, I think that's one of those weird ones. I think 51 is divisible by 3 and that would give us 17. So 51 divided by 3 is 17. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So I'm hoping 4 over 17 is our answer. And it is. So I think I have one more. Oh, I do not. Okay, so that was it. So 411D, I hope these examples helped shed some light on the approach to these. If you have any questions on specific versions of this problem, feel free to let me know or send me screenshots of them, whatever. All right.